Hey there, the internet. Welcome back to my basement. And yes, it is my basement. It's not my parents' house. I own my own house. Don't judge me. At any rate, a subscriber wanted to know during our whole FEA analysis if we could use C channel underneath here. And I thought this would be a great chance to, one, earn some brownie points with my subscriber base. It's making me look like an idiot. But we will overcome. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to choose that right there. And we're going to go like that. And then we're going to rotate yeah, like that, and we'll use that side. All right, perfect. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, we meant to do that. It's not, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, all right. So we hit apply. Okay, okay. And bada boom, bada bang. There's our member. Pick an offset, choose that face. And then we can go down a distance, 1.5. Yeah, I like that. Fly. Well, okay, I'm guessing this is really good. <laughs> uh, let's make sure our loads are correct. What What are we saying? Sorry. At force load. So this is the 20 pounds of force at the top. So to answer. Gambler's question. Yes, a C channel, especially this C channel, is going to work great. But let's edit that force load down to, say, 25 pounds. That seems more reasonable. I'm, I maybe, I don't know what what is out there. And does anybody have any um, information out there on cutter forces by uh, experienced by a quarter inch uh, end mill? I found some papers, uh, but they were all like half inch end mills or one inch end mills, and they were saying like 600 newtons uh, of force. So, uh, but so I I can't believe that it would be that. I guess we could calculate carbide end mill, how much? Yeah. Anyway, well, I'm if we cared to, because <laughs> we don't. We obviously don't. Now, obviously, this is adjusted. So if we look at the actual See that? that? When you zoom in, that's horrendous. Look at all that. So, 3 thou of displacement with 25 pounds of force applied here at this point. To answer the original question, gambler, yes, you can uh, completely use a C channel. Um, any C4 would be fine. C4 by 7.25 mild steel. Um, you could probably get in stainless or something like that. Actually, what would the cost of something like that? Raw materials. U channel. It's not quite right. U channel, not quite right. U channel. C channel trim. What? Where's my C channel? McMaster, are you failing me? It is. It's going to fail me. Metals. Stainless steel. Tubes. T bar strips, angles. Well, let's look at this U channel. See, that's only four inches. Outside width, four inches. Height, one and three quarter. All right, so that's pretty much it right there. Holy! Uh, yeah. Let's not do stainless. Yeah. Let's not do stainless. Okay. Uh, let's just go clear all. Uh, I need something other than stainless. Let's go back back. All right, what else? Aluminum, which not ideal, I suppose, but if it gets me a four incher. Four inches. Sixty sixty one. Four inches height. Well, two inch leg. Yeah. So much more reasonable. But the question is. We didn't test that. So let's test it. And this is the cool part about Inventor. We go here, edit, and we choose. At least I've never done aluminum. Let's see if it has aluminum. Sixty, sixty-one. U shape. Oh, this would be. What would this technically be classified as? It's probably sixty, sixty-one. Apply. Right, so now our shape has changed just like that. 
I don't have to re-strain this or anything like that, any such nonsense. And two and a half inches. Ah, poop, that's only two inches. All right, go back in. Obviously, the M4 by 13.8, the MC, sorry. So let's see. Well, the other one was probably closer. Well, we'll just run it with this. And this should be screw up. Is this aluminum? Material. All right, so pretty close. Make sure that uh, I didn't screw up somehow on that. Yep, U6061. All right, so yeah, it it looks like you could probably just use in a piece of aluminum C channel, which I have some aluminum C channel. All right, took a quick look through the scrap bin. This is what I got in the way of aluminum C channel. Uh, this is about four inches. I've got two pieces of this. One's not quite long enough, and two would be too long. And frankly, my bending moment isn't being resisted at that point. Uh, but this particular piece happens to be just a hair wider. Then I got this beefy looking thing here. Look at that. Uh, the this one has the benefit of being long enough that it'll do the entire length. It also has the added benefit of having a thicker uh, flange here than this one. The web looks to be about the same. So, I'm I'm a thinking. I'm gonna go with this one. I, I like the way this looks in that it's wider which, you know, intrinsically, I want my base to be wider, but uh, I also know that I can just bolt on some L-shaped brackets here and then bolt those down to the table, and that will give me stability this way. Okay. That way it's all, I guess, aluminum. Although I'd, I'd like the steel for the heft, I suppose. Oh, well. At any rate, so yeah, steel, aluminum, doesn't really matter. You put anything with... Uh, a decent amount of area extending down this way in this axis, and you're going to just stiffen the crap out of this uh, particular thing here. Because um, frankly, you know, not a whole lot here to resist the bending moment. So I think, I think any C channel down here is going to be our, our best bet for easy access uh, to all these holes that we're going to have to put in here. Thanks for watching.